Hello guys, this is Navin Reddy. In this video, we'll talk about session beams. So session beams in EJB in which you have two different types, in fact three types. First is stateless, then we have stateful and singleton. So we have already done a video on stateless. In this video, we'll talk about stateful. So what we will do in this video is we'll, we'll try to achieve the example in which I can demonstrate the use of stateful. Now for this what I will do is I will create a, a project in which I will create a web page in which I will ask a user to enter a number. Then I will add those number in a list and will display the elements on the browser. So every time I send a request, every, every time I click on a button add, it will add those elements into a list and it will be displayed. Now why stateful will, will be important is if I click on a button, it will call the same page without clearing the data. That will it, mean it will maintain that data. And the only way you can maintain that data is because it is stateful. Now, let's try to achieve that. Let's create a project. And in order to, in order to create a project, we'll say Java application, Java web application. Click on next. Here we'll uh, type a project name. And this say, we'll say this is uh, EJB stateful and we'll say next, we'll select a GlassFish server because uh, when you work with EJB, you have to select an application server here, which is a GlassFish. And then you have to say next, you're not going for any framework. So because the next window will give you the list of frameworks and we can directly on, click on finish. Now, once you click on finish, it will open this HTML page. I don't need this, this HTML page. Now, in order to work with your stateful, we require a remote interface. So whenever you work with this stateful session bean, the first step is you have to create a remote interface. Now, exactly we can create a remote interface that we'll see in the next part.